This is part six to the grade six project pegboard toy. On the previous video, we assembled the legs and the with a fasten mates and the cylinder with a sliding mate. Next, we're going to insert and bring in our triangle. I'm going to choose that same sliding mate. I'm going to come over to my triangle. I want to choose the top center of this. Let's see if I can grab it from a different perspective. There we go. Top center of this and the top center of our triangle. Again, it could be the middle of that triangular prism. It doesn't really matter because when I hit my green check mark and solve it, I can close out my window here. We're going to notice that my triangular prism is going to slide through there. So again, I can see that. Uh, so if it's fastened at the middle, it will slide at that middle portion and so on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and insert my square peg. Green check mark to finish. I'm going to come back up to my sliding mate. I'm going to choose that center top there. And again, I need to gain perspective on this. And I'm going to choose that center of my face here. Green check mark. I can close out my slider window. And again, once I gain a little perspective on this, I can grab my piece. And that piece will slide according to those dimensions. So we can see I have all three pieces now with slider mates in my assembly. The last thing I need to do is I need to bring in my mallet head and handle. So I'm going to insert my mallet head, placing this in my drawing. And I'm also going to grab that uh, handle for that as well. And bringing that in. Green check mark to close out. I'm going to gain some perspective on this. Now, I don't want to do a slider mate because obviously I don't want my handle to be able to move. So I'm going to click on my fasten mate. I now can click on the center of the top of my cylinder to that handle. And I'm going to gain perspective here. And I want to choose that back face center to fasten at those two points. Now again, my handle is going through it. I can simply just flip it on its axis here. I can hit my green check mark and gain perspective on my entire assembly. And what you're going to notice now is I have a handle uh, attached to my mallet and I have my pegboard toy where the individual pieces can slide. And that is the completion to the pegboard toy.